What's going on YouTube? I'm Choctopus. Welcome back to another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate discussion video. And that's all we can really do until the game comes out. We can speculate, we can discuss, and uh, to be completely honest, uh, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy doing videos like this, and if you also enjoy them, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and leave some love in the comment section because they do help these videos get found, and obviously, you know, we want more people to... Uh, to tune in, but I want to talk about a couple things today, and the first being the character roster, the final character roster count, and the next Nintendo Direct when they might possibly be revealed. So, I know we had that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Collector's Edition box floating around, uh, or at least the, the placeholder art floating around maybe about a month ago or a couple weeks ago. I, I don't know. I honestly have no sense of time, and I don't even know when it was, but maybe it was only a couple of weeks ago where we we're speculating that we're only going to be 70-some-odd characters, and yesterday or the day before appeared a picture of a download code where it looked like there were two character boxes. If I can find it, I'll leave it on this video, um, but it looked like there were two character portraits or room for two more character portraits, and... Honestly, I think with the time frame between now and the launch of the game, being that it's only two months away, so it's maybe 62-ish days or 63-ish days, whatever the number is, um, and I I don't think we're going to get more than two characters on, at least in the, I guess, the, the launch roster. And we're going to talk about DLC in a couple minutes because that's another topic that I want to touch on. But I think realistically we're only going to get two more characters and I do think they're going to happen in November. Now, or maybe they'll just keep one secret or maybe they'll keep some of them secret and we just won't know until the game comes out. But I am predicting that there's going to be one more direct. I don't think we're going to get a direct this month in October because they kind of showed off everything that they could show in the next month or so, or the next couple months of releases. Um, but there's not really much for them to do now, and they're not going to do another Smash Direct in October. Now, I could be completely wrong. Take this with a grain of salt. This is just a discussion, and it's my opinion. And if you feel otherwise, or you want to start a discussion, or argue with me, or, or say mean things to me, uh, leave it down in the comment section. But I do think we're only going to get two more characters on launch, and we're going to see them both potentially in the next Direct, which is going to be sometime in November, um, because the game does come out the first week of December to get ready for the, the holiday season, and that leads me to talking about DLC. Now, while this is the biggest Smash game yet, I do think it has potential to be a lot bigger, and... It begs the question, is Nintendo going to take advantage of DLC like they did with the Wii U and release characters separately or maybe stages or Mii Fighter costumes or whatever? Now, this is Nintendo talking. we're talking about, and Nintendo likes money. They love money, and they're going to take full advantage of the attach rate for Smash on the Switch because it's most likely going to be like a one-to-one -one attach rate or something crazy like that. It's going to sell a ton of copies, but I think we're going to see DLC ranging from characters to new stages to, uh, to costumes because if you've been paying attention to, I guess, recent announcements or everything from E3 to now, they did show off a couple alternate costumes. And I'm not talking about Echo Fighters. I'm talking about alternate costumes. For example, Mario is going to have uh, his builder outfit from Super Mario Maker. He's going to have his wedding outfit. So I do think if they're not already in the game, you know, even if they sell additional costumes for a dollar or two dollars, you know, that's still an easy cash in for Nintendo. You know, if they want to also release Peaches and Bowser's wedding outfits from Super Mario Odyssey, you know, maybe at two bucks a pop, you know, or you could buy both of them at a, as a bundle for three fifty or I don't, whatever they plan on doing, you know, for them to code 
a new costume and not necessarily a new character. I think it's a lot easier, and I think it's probably pretty beneficial considering the money that they can make off it. So in regards to DLC, I do think we're going to see more costumes. Now, there's a ton of stages out there already, so I think stages might be a little tougher um, and longer to do, so we they might be fewer and further in between, but it, I don't think it's completely impossible to see some new stages, um, especially that they're bringing back stages from other games, you know, and as new games release and as new characters come into, uh, into the roster, which they will, you know, we'll see other things. For example, we got, uh, we got cloud stage, uh, what's the name of it? Um, it, it's on the tip of my brain. Um, from Final Fantasy VII, Midgard, sorry. We got Midgard in the game when when Cloud released. So who's to say that we won't get at least some new levels when we see new fighters? Now, in regards to new fighters, um, I do think the final, the final announcement of whoever's coming last is going to be big. Um, but I do think behind the scenes, Nintendo is probably working on some big things for DLC that will not be ready in time for the release of the game. Um, If Cloud was announced, you know, for the launch roster in Wii U, they would have broke the internet. I mean, they did when they announced him, but it would have been much bigger than it was. Because think about it. In the Wii U version, all of their bigger characters and bigger surprises came as DLC fighters. Um, Pac-Man was a big one because they finally got Pac-Man in the game, but he was on the launch roster, but you had Ryu, you had Cloud, you had, uh, you had Bayonetta, all these huge third-party characters made it to Smash on the Wii U and 3DS post-launch, so don't fret if you don't see a character that you, you know, if you, or if you see a character you don't like, or if you don't see a character that you want, I do think it's 1000% possible, you know, maybe in six months when the game's been out for a while, for Nintendo, when they see the trend dying down, to breathe a little new life into it by adding a new character. And I know a lot of people have been fighting for Goku, but I don't think we're ever going to get Goku in Smash. I'm sorry, guys. It'd be cool, and I wouldn't be opposed to it. I just don't think it's ever going to happen. Um, but. You know, the final two characters, who do you think they're going to be? Drop it down in the comment section. Um, if we don't see Gino now, who's to say we won't see Gino in six months? Or maybe we'll get another Final Fantasy character. Or, you know, people really want Sora in the game. Now, Sora, and I, I spoke about this in another video, um, it, it's possible, but you have to, Nintendo's going to have to work with Disney and Square Enix for this one. And, I apologize because in the last video, I didn't know that Disney owned the rights to Sora and I thought it was Square Enix, but Disney owns them. So I don't think it's completely impossible because if you think about what Nintendo has done with Disney in the past, look back at Wreck-It Ralph. In Wreck-It Ralph, you had a scene where all of the, not necessarily Nintendo villains, but they were all villains that they had some appearance on a Nintendo console at some point appear in the movie. You had Bowser, you had Zangief, you had, uh, you had Dr. Eggman, you know, and I know some of those are third party, but Bowser was in there and Bowser is Nintendo's number one villain. So there is a pre-existing relationship there. And I do think it's possible for us to see Sora. Um, I do think something that big might come as DLC though. Like if we're thinking back to cloud, the negotiations might be pretty tight. So I do think if, we are going to see Sora. It's going to come in the future, and it's most likely not going to come in the next announcement. But anything's possible. You know, Nintendo surprised us in the past. Um, you know, Isabel was a surprise, and I know a lot of people did want Isabel in the game. Personally, I don't care for her. I do like Animal Crossing, but I feel like Villager was enough. And if we did have to get another Animal Crossing character, I would have preferred Tom Nook or... Timmy and Tommy or whoever, even as an Echo Fighter. But, you know, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below in regards to uh, the final two characters we're going to see, the the possibility of DLC. Who do you think is going to come as DLC? Do you think we're even going to get DLC at all? Um, like I said, I, I do think it's going to happen because Nintendo loves money and it's just, you know, they could develop. There's There's no pressure. Once the game is out, 
There's no pressure of having to release the game, and then they can just work on DLC as they go. People will be asking for it, but at least they will have Smash Ultimate to play in the meantime. There'll be tournaments going on, and they can just work on these bigger things behind the scenes and kind of just, you know, at the drop of a hat, release an awesome character like they did with Cloud. That's all we got for this video. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting the thumbs up button so we get more people here. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'm asking you to do a lot of consideration for me. <laughs> you know what? Just like and subscribe. Um, there's going to be a ton, ton, ton of Smash Ultimate content once the game comes out. Until then, it's all speculation. It's all discussion. You know, tweet at me what you think. If you'd like to, you can follow me on social media. Um, going to be streaming the game when it comes out. So check me out on Twitch. Got a lot of links in the description that you should probably hit. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and we'll catch you in the next one later.